birthday is on 23rd July. I repeat again. My birthday is on 23rd July. Mom, do you know how hard is this? Yeah, this is really hard. And it's Leon's birthday. We are going to make a very special cake. Can you tell them what the design is? This is a Ninjago cake. We already made the chocolate. We've actually pre-made four chocolate cakes. First step, butter and sugar. We're going to beat it to a dot. Time for vanilla acid. <laughs> now we have 20 eggs. going to alternate our dried ingredients. Flour, baking soda, and salt. Looking good. My favorite ingredient, coconut. Everything. It smells more like my dough. So what we're going to do is that we're going to cut out the centers so we can have a surprise. Let's put it right in the center and cut. Ooh, yes. Oh, wow. Okay, so we have like a mini cake over there. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Right in the middle, right in the middle. Like this? Yep. <laughs> it's stuck. We saw this YouTube video and I thought it was relatively easy but nobody prepares you for the amount of prep that you have to do for this okay, so we've got three mini cakes here look at this cake stand it's, it's awesome. golden yeah, what color is golden also in ninjago leon this is not that simple as it looks so these were done one whole day before it took quite a few hours we had four of these seven to eight in cakes the store already pre-sold like red and yellow and black and white fondant so we're going to roll that out later we have uh, our surprise which is going to be inside we also have buttercream which also took me some time to make it looks so good look at this cream cheese buttercream this is way too much for this cake so maybe i'll have to make more cakes after this we are going to take a bit of our nutella ganache as a, like a sticky glue we're going to put our first layer there to stick it down the middle i'm going to try and centralize it to connect a bit leon can you help me by putting nutella in the middle like okay now just in the middle no, baby, no. Baby, no. Oh, very nice, very nice. We want to put a layer of Nutella just so that there's that chocolatey taste. There's not enough Nutella to go around the whole cake. To seal the cake in really nicely, we will put some buttercream on top of this Nutella. So that's a little modification that I'm doing. Oh, I forgot to put buttercream on the inside of that. Oops. Don't worry. Okay, hey, hey! Don't eat Nutella like that! Okay, this is the buttercream layer that's going to go up here. The addition that we're making is Nutella and buttercream alternating. So in case you guys were wondering like how I got into all this cake making, for Leon's fourth birthday just before the pandemic, I wanted to buy a rainbow cake and then I saw that there was a course that was going to teach you how to make like a multi-layered cake and so I decided, well, I might as well just pay for the course so that I get to learn how to make the cake and I get the cake. The course was double the price of a cake and I would have the experience of learning how to make like multi-layered cakes which I've never made before in my life. So I thought, why not? Let's just go try. So that's where I got this nice cake stand from. Stand and realized the importance of using a cake stand to do and this kind of like round action. I hope your friends like this cake. It's a lot of effort to make this cake. Okay, and our last layer is going on right now. The hole is not really in the middle, but you know, it's okay. It's supposed to like cream the side so that everything is very clean. Yeah, it's to actually like make sure that there are no imperfections. So we're just making everything neat. Yeah, it's to seal everything in and so the cake will be able to be kept for a while in the fridge. Uh, you can put any candy that you want inside. You can see it. Yeah. Uh, you know right, you can put any candy just like your Oreos and whatever snack you like. You can put Skittles and Oreos. You can do whatever you want to your cake and I'm supposed to do my cream and I'm doing my job, so... Yep, Leon's doing his job of putting in the... And so in normal cake terms, um, this initial buttercream layer is normally called 
a crumb layer because you're trying to just seal in the crumbs. Are we actually supposed to put into the fridge for about 20 minutes so that this becomes a little hardened. While the cake is hardening in the fridge, we'll be able to do our fondant. We will do a second layer yeah, later on. Oh. Can I use the rest? Okay. Okay, we filled it to the top. We are not going for professional here. We're going for authentic, homemade, your own very handcrafted. And we can't let them know what's inside. It's a surprise, right? Yeah. Okay, and then we need to put it in the fridge for 20 minutes. Wow, well, this thing hardens, we're going to go to make. We're going to make the fondant. So this is pretty heavy. I don't know how they managed to like lift the whole cake and put it into another like bigger board, but this is my cake board, so I'm going to have to clean off the edges uh, first. Okay, see you later with the cake. We are going to put this into the fridge. Can you roll it? Can you do it? Good job. Yeah, press a bit harder. Yeah, good job. We've got to get it a bit more flat than this. It has to be like flat. Is it enough to make the face? I think it's not enough, right? I think it needs to be like this big, right? Like this big. Yeah. So we don't want the fondant to be too thick because if it's too thick, it might start falling off thick. We will take a knife to cut a rectangle out of this and make it the ninja face. Okay, we got our rectangle for the face. Ugh, that side's a bit narrow. So after that, we are going to cut out two ninja eyes. Uh, where did they go? Where did the ninja eyes go? This is bad. How come they made it look so easy in the video? Nothing is ever as easy as it looks on YouTube, isn't it? We're also going to cut out two rectangles for the eyebrows, which we will shape into little angry ninjas eyebrows. So what we're going to do is just kind of shape the rectangles so that they look a little bit angry-ish. So I'm going to just take a wet brush. This is already wet. I'm going to just like wet this a little bit more so that I can put it onto the blacks. We have to make many sheets of these red ones to go and wrap around the cake. I have measured the circumference of the cake which is 69 centimeters and I think we need at least nine pieces. I'm literally taking a ruler to measure because if not, I won't really know whether I'm getting it right. The, the feeling of fondant is kind of like really hard play-doh that's a bit dried out and you can see that you know it doesn't mesh very well together. It's not the easiest material to play with. Okay, three pieces. Oh, another six pieces to go. I could probably make one more piece out of this, so yeah, so maybe we can make more than I thought that we could make. So what we want to do is to have a bit of a texture and that's what I saw in the YouTube video. You could use any kind of sticks, you know, just to get like this kind of like little texture on this. And then later on, we'll be able to put it on quite nicely with like this little curved texture onto the cake to cover it up. Almost looks okay. like a samurai Just for texture. Be careful, mom. And uh, we want to make sure that the back is wrapped as well. So I'm going to so choose the back must be an appropriate piece. Now we're going to cover the sides. sides here. So uh -huh. you know, this is really a work of love because I love Leon so much. He is my oldest son. I'm so proud of you turning seven. You and can message sure. my Instagram account. You can write happy That's birthday. Really I'm very excited to wish you happy birthday. Mom, do you know how hard is this? Yeah, this is really hard. I must say, I'm not a fondant expert. Okay, so now I think it's time to do the face because we want to make sure that it covers the correct part. Kai looks like this! If you can see him right now. Pain. I think this should be funny. It must be frowning. That's what Let me see his face! Oh. Let's cover his ball patch! How do you feel about your Ninjago cake, Leon? Awesome. Now, we're gonna cut it and here's how it looks like when it's cut.
Thanks everyone. Bye. Blah, blah, blah. Tell us on YouTube, Instagram, or TikTok. Thank and you, you everyone. And you can follow Sarah X Marco on Instagram. And Leon do it on Instagram too. And if you want to wish Leon a happy birthday, you can text him on Instagram. Thank you so much. We hope you enjoyed this Ninja cake. It took a lot of effort. Bye. Oh, real spin Jitsu. Spinning. Yeah, but why do you want to eat the fondant? Are you filming this? She wants to eat the fondant. This is Luma's purpose. My birthday is on 23rd July. I repeat again. My birthday is on 23rd July. Happy birthday, Luma. 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 Happy bir